Hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, but probably welcome back because it's been a year since I posted on YouTube. I don't know how it happened. I don't want to talk about it. It just happened. But absence makes the heart grow fonder, and my heart has definitely grown fonder. I miss this platform so freaking much, and I'm really excited to be back. I'm going to be posting every Sunday from here on out, and I'm committing full force. So my first video back today is something that I know I'm good at, and that is makeup. So we're going to do this makeup look together. It's really cute, and it's cute with glasses. It's cute for, like dinner and drinks, date night with your boyfriend, I mean, anything. I just popped on these giant vintage glasses. They're not prescription, don't worry, I'm not that real. But um, super cute and just super the vibe right now. I'm excited, I hope you guys love this video. I'll be back with more vlogs and makeup videos and everything in between, so enjoy. I love you, I missed you, I missed you. How has it already been a year? Since I posted on YouTube, I don't know. I don't know. So weird. Um, you might notice that my channel looks a little different. I deleted all of my old videos. Some of you are not very happy with me and I'm sorry. I just needed a new fresh start. I just needed some time to like miss it and fall back in love with it after doing it for so long, if you know what I mean. I'm just so excited to be sitting down filming right now. I'm using the Say Glowy Super Gel, by the way, in the shade Star Glow as a primer. Um, but I'm so excited to be back filming. I'm gonna be posting a video every Sunday from here on out, and I'm really determined to actually do that. Um, so be sure to subscribe if you're new here. We're gonna do some underpainting so I'm going to take this Makeup Forever palette and I'm going to take these bronzer shades. They're so creamy and beautiful and nice. And we're going to do, again, underpainting. So what that means is I'm just going to go in and kind of like sculpt the face underneath all of the other products. So this is our like first step, basically. I'm sure you guys are already doing this because... On TikTok, it is so major, but it really does look amazing. This technique makes you look like flawless, but my hair getting stuck in it is not very flawless. So please excuse that. But yeah, you guys, hi. Um, so let me tell you kind of like why I deleted my videos. I'm going to kind of touch back on that. You know how on Instagram you have like all your old pictures and they're kind of embarrassing because times change, trends change, and you can just archive them and they're kind of like gone. You save them, but they're they're gone. You don't have to worry about them. So for me, like YouTube started to feel that way. I had almost six years of videos on YouTube and I just didn't really... <laughs> I didn't really feel comfortable like having all of those old videos up and allowing people to have access to like six years of my life and my personality and growing up and changing. It just felt like weird. So I did delete all my old videos um, and I'm glad I did it. I definitely want to like start fresh, just start all new as a 27 year old, almost 28 year old. Just crazy. Next up, I love these little hourglass concealers. I'm gonna use shade Fawn in Oat. So Oat is a little lighter, and I like to use this kind of like highlight for my eyes in the middle of my face. I'm just gonna take a little here. These are so pigmented and so nice, like, worth every penny. I also love the YSL All Hours, but I'm sticking with my hourglass today. Then I take the shade Fawn, and I'll kind of like use this more on the cheek, and then a little bit kind of like there, 
And then I also like to sculpt that out. To blend out my concealer, I always like to use a little brush instead of a beauty blender. So here are some of my favorites. I love the Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH08 brush. Then we have the Pro Foundation brush from Sephora Collection. And then if you want a more affordable option, I love the Real Techniques. This is the Deluxe Crease brush. And I just like to work it into my skin. I really like to get that flawless blend like that. And we're going to use this concealer to really like shape the face. So using light colors can really shape your face really well. Um, and I will show you how. And again, this is called underpainting because it really does like sculpt underneath your base. It'll be blended, don't you worry. But yeah, guys, so much has happened in the last year. Um, wow. If I think about where I ended my last YouTube video, life is very different, okay? I moved. Um, I moved out of that townhouse I was living in, and I moved into an apartment. And I just didn't need all the space that I had. And I was basically, like, throwing money down the drain on rent. So I did move in October of this year. And I'm really loving like apartment life. I really am. I'm gonna take this little bigger brush and I'm just gonna kind of like soften those edges. But yeah, I love apartment life. I've done apartment life before, obviously. It's just been a while. And I just feel safer and kind of like I'm part of a little community, which is nice. I have people around, so I feel just mainly safer. <laughs> If you guys want an updated kind of like apartment tour, I can do that. But I honestly didn't buy new furniture when I moved into this place. Um, I have the same furniture that I had in my townhouse. So it won't be very exciting, but I guess I did delete that video. So you guys can't even go watch the old one. My favorite blushes are the NARS. Let's see. The NARS Afterglow Liquid Blush in the shade Insatiable. Or I love Chili from Say Beauty. I think I'm gonna use Say today. And I just do a little cluster. I'll use a little dot of the Insatiable, why not? The color is like a really deep burgundy and it's really pigmented, but it has that NARS glow, you know? So we love it. And again, love a brush instead of a beauty blender. I really don't use the Beauty Blender much anymore, but I'll show you how I do. So I like to focus this right like on the apple of the cheek, and then I kind of like wisp it up onto my temple, just to kind of get that seamless blend like that. Blush is just like... The, the top product 2023, I feel like. I probably bought 50 blushes this year. I'm not gonna lie. What about you guys? <laughs> Comment below if you're listening to this, your favorite blush. Because if I haven't tried it, I will add it to the list and I will try it. Even though that's the last thing my bank account needs. I'll also take a little and just kind of pop it on the forehead if I have any leftover, but looking good i'm then gonna go in with this persona cosmetics little bronzer stick in the shade dune and again on a brush i'm using the sephora pro foundation brush for my cream like bronzer products there's a hair on my nose and it's really getting to me i'm gonna use this product to add a little more warmth into my skin it's a super gorgeous color, and I love the formula. I'm going to show you guys, though, how to set your creams to look so flawless. I feel like I've mastered my setting routine, and I think you're going to love it. So if I was going to go over this base with a foundation um, to like finish off the underpainting technique, I would use this Hourglass little tinted skin tint. But I honestly think... That I like it like this. 
I don't think it needs any extra coverage. Some powders that I love are the Givenchy Prism Rose Powder, and I also love the Huda Beauty in Cherry Blossom. I just think a pink powder looks like so good and it makes your makeup look professional and perfect. So what I like to do, make sure there's no creasing. I like to go in and set the face. You can also use a powder puff. I don't have one today. And we're gonna use this powder again, like the concealer to sculpt the face. Powder placement is important, even though it is just powder. It goes a long way in terms of like making your makeup look professional versus looking like you just threw it on. It's very intentional. I love to do that cut because it does lift the face and lifts the eye. It's like a non-negotiable for my makeup routine. And then I also do the chin. I do in between the brows and like right above the front of the brow. And then I like to do underneath the bronzer contour. The shape that you want depends on your face. I usually like to kind of go to like the corner of my mouth like that to kind of just snatch it. I used to do, I'll show you, hold on. I used to do up towards the nose, but I realized it just made my face look more rounded, which I don't really want. So that's my powder routine. I know this is a lot, but when I'm going on a night, a night out to a dinner, which is the makeup I'm doing, I like to do more flawless, perfect base. So here's where my top secret tips come into play. I'm gonna show you some really amazing powders. My secret weapons are the hourglass powders. So I have the luminous light ambient lighting and I have the brilliant strobe light. These are amazing. I'm gonna take the luminous light powder. I'm gonna put it on a big fluffy, this is a real techniques brush. You can get it at any drugstore. And I kind of just work my way around the powder that we just placed. And this powder I don't know if you can see on my forehead. It has this glow to it that just is magic. And that I can't live without. <laughs> this will make sure that you don't look cakey, but it still sets everything down really nicely. It's still long lasting. It just has a little shine. We're gonna come back to this little brilliant strobe light powder in a moment. This is kind of like a last step for me. So we're gonna come back to her, setting her down, and now we're gonna work on sculpting the face a bit. So I've been using this palette forever. It's the Made for Shade Medium Sculpting Palette from One Size, and I love this cool tone shade for sculpting. It's perfect. And I'm using it on the Makeup by Mario Dual Ended Face Brush. So I like to take this right in the hollows of the cheeks. It is cool tone, so we want to put that in places that we would get a contour. I like to do temples, and then a little on the sides of the forehead. Then I go in with the Hourglass Bronzer. Again, I love Hourglass. I think it's such a good brand. Um, I'm using the shade Radiant Bronze Light. Honestly, the words have like rubbed off of here because I've had this for so long. It lasts forever. So it's a good splurge. Um, I'm taking this around the perimeter of the face, kind of on top of what we just laid down. Another really good brush for contouring is this Patrick Ta contour brush. You can use it to really just get in there. But I honestly just forgot. All right, I'm very strategic with my steps. So then I dust off the powder in between my brows and then I'll work on my eyebrows while my face continues to set. I'm a ride or die for the precisely my brow. I just think it does work really well. I wanna try the Kosas micro brow pencil, but I haven't got my little 
fingers on it yet. So I like to kind of create a sharp, straight brow to give a lifted look. So like that, and then I kind of just work through it, break it up a bit. That's the kind of brow that I like for my face right now. And then I just do the same. I then go in with my Refi brow, brow tint, sorry. And I use the shade black. This stuff you have to be careful with because it can ruin your day really quickly. But I have some practice with it, so. Oh my god. Like, I say stuff and then bad things happen. Like, I just jinx that. I never have bad luck with this product and... Okay. Leaving it there. The one time I'm like, I'm amazing at this, I almost ruined my day. Perfect. Anyways, I love that product. It just gives a dimension to your brows that I love. On my eyes, I'm gonna do a really neutral, just simple, everyday vibe. So I'm gonna take the Makeup by Mario palette and I love this like warm shade right here. And I'm just gonna pop that in my crease and kind of like all over the lid for a wash of color. You can also use your bronzer. It's gonna give you the same vibe. But I love to bring this into the front of the brow and kind of like to the nose. And then I also like to kind of follow that highlight and contour shape that we use on the eye and just drag it out like that. And then I'll mix together kind of like these browns. I'm not really too particular with it. And you guys know, this is like a signature <laughs> Maddie eye, but I just like to create a light and natural wing. This really complements my eyes, I think. And it just lets my natural eye shape shine, which is kind of my goal when I do my eyes, is I don't really like to warp my eyes or make them look crazy or different. I'm really into just accentuating my natural shape. Now I dust away the powder And at this point, I like to contour my nose. So again, I'm dipping into this Patrick Star palette, the one size. I like the cool tone shade, but you can use whatever suits you better. And I contour my nose with the shade. It's honestly just my perfect contour. So I like to do the classic like ball at the end of the nose. So I do a line here, I go underneath, and then I carefully, I sometimes like fudge this up really bad, but I go in and I contour the sides. I connect it to the brow into the inner like socket of the eye, like that. And this will just kind of pinch your nose and give you a more natural look. I did pretty good, I can't lie. Then I'm gonna soften it a little bit with some powder or a powderless brush. And I'm gonna pop into my other secret weapon, which is the One Size Powder Foundation in Fair 3 Neutral. And I use my sponge, like the edge of my sponge. This is the Villa Beauty sponge, by the way. I really love it. I've had it for too long. I need a new one, probably. And I use the edge to sculpt out my nose. For me, nose contour really is like the center of the face. So you wanna make sure you put time and effort into it if this is something that you prioritize during your routine. For me, I definitely prioritize it. I'm gonna take leftover powder and let that sit right there for a little while. You can even use it here. I'm gonna let this sit for a few 
And then we're gonna bounce into setting the face and finishing touches like blush, the straw powder, all of that good stuff. Let it sit. I'm taking a precise little powder brush and I'm very carefully wiping away that powder, just like diffusing it a bit. But the underlay of it will still be there. So you'll still get that sculpt that you want. Okay, this is the base. I know it's boring, but we're gonna spice it up. Don't worry. This next step is crucial. You need a setting spray. I love the Charlotte Tilbury. And I like to do it at this step when my like boring base is on. We haven't done blush, we haven't done fake freckles, we haven't highlighted anything like that. We haven't done mascara because in my opinion, once this goes on, if you had mascara on, I feel like it would just make your eyelashes droop after you curl them. Anyways, gonna set the face. Usually I would cover my hair with like a rag because it makes my hair greasy, but today we're living on the edge. So setting your face at this point is going to melt all those powders in, set them in, and now we can have a little bit of fun. For blush, I'm gonna use Limitless Berry from Makeup Forever. And this stuff is pigmented, so be careful, but it's so gorgeous. So I like to take this little Sephora contour brush, Pro Contour, and I like to be very intentional with my blush. Again, this is gonna make a difference in your makeup seeming like a makeup artist did it or you took your time versus throwing it on. And I'm just making sure that I work this in. Okay, my foot keeps falling asleep. I'm then gonna take my brow setter from Benefit. And this is when I like to set my brows. I like to go super like messy in the front. And then more like clean behind. Just again, it kind of brings the face more to a pinch when you do closer together brows, so I kind of pull them close. I'm gonna use my freck. And okay, let me zoom you in and show you my freckle placement because it is very strategic as well. I start on the bridge of the nose, kind of right around where we did those contour lines. And I do a few there. Just like, I don't go crazy, just like on the middle of the nose. Where we drew that horizontal line, I go right there and then I put them there and it kind of just creates an illusion that the sun is just hitting there. See how it did that? On the bottom, nothing crazy. And then I do four dots in these places. I do one here, I do one here, here, and here. And yes, that is very weird and random, but I do it in the same spot every time. And it's just my signature vibe. And that is how I kind of like contour my nose with my freckles. Zooming it back out. Before we do anything else, I'm gonna heat up my Lash curler, I don't do it long, but I just like when it's a little warm. And I'm gonna curl my lashes. I love the Tower 28 mascara right now. It's so good and separating. So I'm gonna use this. I don't have lash extensions anymore. And I have to say, I missed putting on mascara so much. Like it's so girly and fun. And I just can't believe I missed out on that for like four years. It just makes you feel like you're fully doing your makeup routine. I don't know how to describe it. If you are a lash extension girly you and you took them off, you know, it makes you feel like you're actually doing a full face of makeup. Because when I had lash extensions, I never felt like I was like doing a full face because half of it was already done, you know? I'm gonna go in with this Dior palette. I love this pink shade. It's so beat up. Like, honestly, Dior, if you ever see this, I'll love to be on your PR list. <laughs> Anyways, I take the pink shade 
and I use it as a blush topper. It adds the most perfect sheen to the cheeks. And then, this is the Hourglass, again, Brilliant Strobe Light Powder on a little flat brush. And watch how this transforms the look. It brings so much dimension to the face. But it's not the kind of highlighter that looks crazy. It just has this lit from within glow. That is unreal. I like to put a little down the nose, but we're gonna properly highlight the nose. And yeah, I just like to use this on those areas. I don't really do underneath here. But it gives you that, like I'm completely matte right now, but I look glowy in a good way. To highlight the nose, I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Mesmerize highlighter. And again, we're going for this lit from within vibe and all these products just really do it for me. I do a little bit here. On the lips, I'm gonna use two shades of the little lip pencils, matte pencils from Makeup Forever. I'm gonna use the shade Anywhere Caffeine first and then I'm gonna define the lips with Limitless Brown. I actually saw Madison Beer's makeup artist do this with this little brown color to um, define, so I'm gonna show you how I would do it. I like to overline the middle. I need to sharpen it, actually. The key to having a really professional look is to have a really sharp lip pencil. It'll make such a difference. Okay, so there's that. And then I like to take Limitless Brown, and I'm just going to use this on the top and bottom middle to define. can add a little gloss. I have the road jelly bean, but I think I want to do mattes. This is kind of just my everyday, not everyday, I do not wear makeup every day, but this is kind of like my dinner or if I'm going, you know, out for drinks with my boyfriend or my friends, this is what I will typically gravitate towards. I love you guys. Thank you if you're watching this for tuning back in. I'll be back next week, next Sunday, every Sunday with a video, whether it's a vlog or another tutorial, whatever, I'm coming back. I'm officially a YouTuber again.